few little random impalas here. All of them have got that little bit of a fluffed up, up look a little bit where they let the hair stand up, the coat just ruffles up and uh, this helps to keep them a little bit warmer. Most of the females of that adult we're looking at, they're walking to the right now. She's still heavily pregnant, so it means that other females here should be pregnant as well, unless they're too young. <coughs> but also, from now onwards, for the next many days and weeks, whenever we see herds of impala, it's always good to have a very, very good scan around. Because often there might be a few lambs already, and they tend to just hide out in the grass in little creches. Especially the first sort of few days after birth, the first week or so, when they're still very small better for them to just be hiding somewhere in the vicinity of the adults. As soon as they get a bit bigger and stronger, then they tend to hang around with the adults. And within a few weeks after birth, there's a lot of playing and fun going on, as you tend to find with young animals. Paula just doing a bit of grooming there, using those front teeth to brush the comb through the coat. tail all the activities of early morning stretching grooming cleaning and then of course very important part of the day they'll start feeding more and more as well that's beautiful There they are. Look at that. Little ones. <laughs> so they were on. Oh, they're amazing. Getting a little bit thick where they're going in there, but I think we're going to see a few more of these little guys again. We'll make that. I think for the next few days, probably, that'll be a big central part of the drives. It's just all these new animals arriving, especially the impalas. We should be seeing lots of them. And over the next few weeks, seeing them grow up a little bit, getting more physically confident, seeing them playing around. One of those magic things that you experience and enjoy every summer out here.
tracks they quickly look like uh, you know tracks but just to make sure yep Track there, we just want to check this road a little bit. Take this road. It's the Aina. Quite a big Aina. Cover a lot of ground at night, they can walk 10 20 kilometers chop chop. Also, the same idea as those impalas earlier, these hornbills also have the feathers buffed up a little bit. I'm not going to see too much, we'll move on just now, but just getting those feathers nice and puffed out, capturing a little bit of air inside the feathers, in between the feathers, close to the skin, and uh, in that process, staying relatively I'm just going to go a little bit forward so you can see the eye. Uh, no, the car doesn't want to. There's no gravity here at the moment. But that's a yellow-billed hornbill, old Zazu. We'll try and have another look at some that are maybe sitting a bit friendlier. Okay. 